Asna from India. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Sheikh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sheikh, in hadith, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that the women who stand in the back row are the best. In my college, there is a different floor for women in masjid to participate in Jummah. My question is, which row would be better, better for me, front row or back row? Jazakallah. Wa jazakum. So the hadith Sister Asna is referring to is regarding the congregational prayer in the masjid. As we know, at the time of the Prophet والسلام, men and women used to pray in the same masjid without a barrier. So the Prophet stated والسلام, that the best row of men are the first and the worst row of men are the last. And the best row of women are the last and the worst row of women are the first. So to avoid any contact between men and women and to make them as far as apart from uh, one another. So this is why the confusion arised among scholars when they talk about th this hadith. If we are in a segregated masjid by a partition and there is no proximity or closeness between men and women. They, they can't see one another. Or they are in a, a, a higher floor, as uh, Asna was referring to. Should we still follow the hadith? Some, some scholars say, yes, the hadith is clear. We follow it as it's stated. Other scholars said, there's no need to follow it because it is obviously talking about separating men from women, and this is logical. So if they are in a different floor, then what's the point of having women at the back? They should be at the front so that they can uh, um, organize their rows, the entrances from the back, etc. And I'm inclined to this opinion. If there is a partition and it's segregated and there's no proximity between the men and women, then this hadith is not applicable in such cases and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.